Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how I build this uh, DIY uh, CNC machine. So, but before that, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Efren, I'm a designer and I also love building DIY projects. So, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and if you like some DIY projects, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. So this is my uh, CNC machine. So what I'm going to share to you this uh, time is that uh, I'm just going to show you uh, the things that I use to build this whole machine. And before that, if it's uh, your first time uh, hearing the word CNC machine, CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. So it is uh, a machine that is controlled by a computer. So uh, it is uh, controlled also by numbers, so it's j basically controlled by uh, three axes. So there's the X axis, which is this whole beam here, and then Y is going that way, and then the Z axis is going up and down. So that's basically a, what uh, this thing is, and there's also a lot of CNC machine available in the market, uh, basically uh, the first thing that I've uh, watched a lot in uh, YouTube is the Shipoko and the X-Carve. So those are the basic uh, entry-level uh, CNC machine. But then, uh, unfortunately, those machine is not avail available in my country. So uh, I, I will have to uh, order it from uh, US or somewhere in there. So it's really difficult to get those machines so that's why uh, I de I've decided to build my own uh, and uh, building my own CNC machine is uh, not uh, easy it's uh, it took me two almost uh, two to three months to complete everything and also most of the materials that I use for this one are uh, purchased online so uh, it uh, really uh, took a long time for me to complete this whole thing and yeah so before I'm going to show you what I use to build this whole machine uh, I'm, I'm just going to show you a little bit of uh, how this thing works so while it moves so I'm going to go into the computer and uh, load some uh, program to, to run this machine so now I finally loaded the g-code into the computer and to the uh, controller so the machine is working what uh, this whole CNC machine will do is that it is uh, powered by a router, so uh, this one is a CNC router. So uh, basically what uh, this thing does is it will cut through plastic, plywood and aluminum. So so this machine is really very uh, useful for uh, making some kind of a product and objects and everything that you want to prototype uh, rapidly. So this is a very useful tool and a useful machine. So this whole CNC machine that I built is based on the concept of uh, Shipoko and X-Carve. And before I build this whole CNC is that I've watched a lot of video, specifically they uh, build your own CNC machine uh, YouTube channel. So they have a lot of tutorial on how to build a CNC machine and their videos are one of my sources for building this machine and also because uh, their machine even though it's larger bigger and uh, stronger it's very cheap and basically if you're going to buy the Shipoko and the uh, X-Carve machine it's gonna be a very expensive one so uh, this uh, whole DIY CNC machine uh, cost me only $500 or in uh, Philippine uh, money it's about 25,000 pesos that's why I DIY uh, everything and uh, I did not uh, buy uh, the pre-made one and so the maximum capacity of this DIY CNC machine is about uh, uh, 1.2 meters that's about uh, 4 feet so and then uh, the, the y-axis is uh, 0.8 meters that's almost a uh, 3 feet so basically the, the idea here is that if I'm going to uh, do some projects so if I, I'm going to buy a, a one whole sheet of plywood then I'm just going to cut it in uh, three uh, three uh, 
uh, panels. So the third of the panel is uh, exactly the size of the, the maximum capacity of this machine. So I designed it that way. And, and also, uh, so if you also uh, want to build your own Senshi machine, uh, please uh, go to their channel. I'm just going to uh, uh, put the link in the description below. And also all the things that I bought, I use in here or in this machine, I'm just going to link those equipments or those electronics that I use in the uh, in the description. So now uh, I'm just going to show you uh, the things that I use for uh, this thing. So first thing that I'm going to show you uh, is the whole frame or the table that I use to, to, to put the whole CNC machine on top is that one. So it's a build with metal and the same way with the, all of the parts of the CNC machine so the base or the table is metal and then the whole structure of the CNC machine is a uh, rectangular uh, or metal tubing so the x-axis is uh, metal it's a uh, 2 inch by 3 inch and then the thickness is 2 mm so the same way with the y-axis here so this y-axis is also the same material as the the, uh, the x-axis so this whole machine is run by a roller bearing so it's a v bearing so these are the bearings that i use it's a v bearing so it's just the same way as the shipoko or the x carb machine but then uh, i use steel and then the rails that i use for this whole machine is the angle iron or the uh, angle bar so in this case for the y-axis i use this one it's a it's an aluminum angle iron one uh one inch now it's uh three fourth so it's three fourth by three fourth by one eight but then uh when I use the caliper, it's just 2 mm, so it's uh, very substandard here in the Philippines. So, but then for the X axis, I change it to stainless steel. So, it is now stainless steel, and then this one is aluminum. I just uh, do it uh, this way because uh, there's two of them. So, two in the X and Y, uh, two in a Y, the, that one and this one, and then one for the X. So for the rails, this one is the aluminum and then there's also aluminum in here at the bottom. So this whole machine runs in belt. So this is a GT2 uh, timing belt. So it's a 10 mm with a steel core reinforcement. So there's a steel inside here. And then it runs with a NEMA 23 stepper motors with a capacity of uh, 12 kilograms per uh, centimeter so there's two motors for the y-axis that's one and then there's another one there and then this one is for the z-axis this one and then for the x-axis is not back so all the wirings are in here in this uh, drug chain so there's the wires and then all the wires are going to that control board or control box. So that's uh, what the control is. So it controls all, uh, it controls the machine. And, and now because uh, this whole machine is a cutter, so it will cut wood, plastic and everything. Uh, that's you're going to put in here so it will create a, a lot of dust for example this one so that's why I've uh, bought a uh, that's why I bought a, a vacuum cleaner and I've uh, immediately create uh, a dust boot so this one is a dust uh, collector so the vacuum is going to suck all the dust going to that cyclo separator and a bin so this one is my DIY so I'm I'm just going to uh, improve this one and uh, make another one because uh, for now it's a little bit broken 
So that's the thing that I use for the X and Y. But then for the Z, I just uh, bought a pre-made linear actuator. Unfortunately, uh, the size is very small, so the cutting capacity is just a uh, 50 mm. And soon I'm just going to upgrade that one. I also put uh, limit switches. So there's uh, that one is a limit switches and that one also, so that I can home the machine into uh, this part of the uh, hole. So most of the material that I use are metal, and then the only thing that's stainless steel is the rails. For this one here, this one is uh, stainless because uh, when I use aluminum for that uh, axis uh, this whole uh, rotor is really moving but now I changed it to uh, stainless steel and then it's not anymore moving but then because this one is a uh, very small and then the, the wheels is inside for the linear actuator so it will move uh, sideways so I still have to rectify and modify the one or maybe I'm just going to upgrade that uh, linear actuator in the future so that's what I have for the Z axis and then for the uh, rotor mount I just use a plywood so I'm also going to upgrade that one in the future but then this whole thing are working so I just load a G code and then run into the air to see that uh, it's really working so I already cut a lot of uh, small projects and uh, big uh, and one uh, big project for this CNC machine and it's really uh, working pr properly so yeah so that is the whole CNC machine uh, working Also, uh, I almost forgot uh, this uh, CNC machine runs in a rotor and uh, that's basically uh, the big problem because uh, this is this particular uh, rotor trimmer that I bought uh, it doesn't have any uh, variable uh, speed control that's why uh, if I'm going to cut plastic uh, I don't have any control to, to control the speed and uh, it will uh, create a mess so I uh, search online and then I bought a controller it's just a voltage controller I think so I just made this controller here so I put a I just uh, write it here so 0 50% and max so if I'm going to do a max then it, the, the rotor will uh, turn uh, 3000 uh, rotation per minute so that's the RPM and then for the 50% it's just uh, 15,000 RPM so that's how I control the uh, motor and for the whole thing it's uh, con uh, this uh, CNC machine is controlled by a USB uh, Mach 3 controller and then with a for the stepper motor uh, it is controlled by a TB6600 driver and then it runs with Mach 3 so this is my old laptop so the, the keyboard is broken but then it's still working so I just use an external uh, mouse and a keyboard so it runs in a PC so it's Mac 3 so it's cutting that uh, sign there but then I, I didn't turn on the, the rotor so that's it and by the way uh, when I built this machine I didn't have this space uh, uh, this is my uh, mini workshop and before that uh, the time that I'm building this whole machine I didn't have this place that's why I just built this one in our sala in our living room so the I this whole machine is uh, standing in the middle of our living room for almost two to three months before I finally have this a small space for uh, this machine so yeah so now that I have this uh, this space and I have this uh, CNC machine so I think for the future I will do some projects with my DIY CNC machine and so if you want to ask for 
more about this machine then uh, just uh, uh, put it into the comment section below and give me a message so so that I can uh, share what I learned from building this thing and maybe if you have also something to add in this machine then I can learn from you so I think that's gonna be it for this uh, video uh, I think uh, you saw uh, what I used to build this machine and I think uh, for me it's uh, working for my needs and so I think that's it for this video thank you for watching if nakaabot ka or if you reach this part of the video thank you so much and then uh, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel and that's it bye bye